Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this episode of Starlight Wisdom. Thank you so much to our guest this morning, Tracy Lee. Thank you for joining us. Thank um, you. Where are you from again, my lovely Australia, is it? I am. I'm in Australia. It's eight o'clock at night at the moment. Oh, okay. Uh, and which part of Australia is it? Queensland. Queensland. Is that the north, the south? Um, it's actually, oh, how can you say it? It's actually southeast. Southeast. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Well, thank you. Just so we can get a little bit um, on the map because, you know, we work internationally and we're blessed uh, to have international guests. And it's like every day is a different time zone, a different currency. <laughs> But it's fabulous. Yeah. Um, it was a, a bit difficult for us to, to connect just because of times and things, you know. So I'm grateful that um, we've, we've actually been able to successfully do this. Um, but guys, if I could just explain a little bit um, first, I'll, uh, I'll bring our guests on in one moment. Uh, just quickly explain guys so my name is emily as it says underneath um and i created this show recently um i had a show like this previously um however i had to go on a break i had a lot of uh trauma work to do let's say a lot of my own stuff and it was really affecting my work so i had to take some time to um go really deep and get things sorted and i'm still doing that until this day however recently spirit re-asked me to start this show again just to uh as an indigo it's all about truth speaking truth seeking and sharing the truth out there like the real truth you know none of this uh ugh, what we've been playing with for, for years and years now, um, deceit and, you know, it, all the media and so on and so on, guys. So hopefully, humbly, Starlight Wisdom is a way of bringing authentic souls to the forefront to not only show what they do, what they're gifted at doing, and um, but also to explain about their journey, you know, their path and what it's been like for them because everyone's path is unique to that soul and every soul has got unique gifts and abilities and so on so just quickly guys like i said my name is emily you can reach me on i'm just going to bring it up on the screen and i'll also bring up tracy's details through as well while we go through so you guys can write it down if you resonate with the lovely tracy so indigo soul sarseed is the page on facebook where my services are listed and you can find my reviews and so forth um starlight wisdom is the youtube channel you can join for free if you resonate and there's new souls every week um and last but not least starlight wisdom is a group that i run on facebook where it's just an ascension group guys and you know you're welcome to join there we're just helping each other through end of me end of story now we're going to go over to our guest and um let's just change the screen back over so Tracy, we're going to have it on you for a little while, um, sitting on your own, if you don't mind, just so the audience can get to feel your energy and, you know, really listen to your story. Um, so my first question always seems to be, I, when I say us, I mean me and my guides, um, where was the start of your spiritual journey? Did you, was you born and raised realizing that you was very spiritual and gifted or was it something that came to you like many people, um, you know, due to trauma or an experience or, or something happened in your life? Um, just while you explain that, my lovely, I'm gonna be sharing it out so people can come in and, and watch what we do here so yeah if you'd like to take it away from there that would be fab uh, I started to notice when I was a teenager growing up that I was pick up the way people were feeling around me without they actually voicing what they were feeling uh, empathic and, yes yes that's right and also as you know because you're empathic as well but also <laughs> picking up you know Probably some ideas that they may have had or not about not having just voice yet that they were feeling or or some things that yeah. they were thinking about doing. Mm. And my parents actually told me that when I was when I was a child I had an imaginary friend. Ah, yes. 
Ah, yes. yes. I remember growing up with them. <laughs> yeah, many of them. <laughs> That's right. And to us, they're not imaginary. They're, they're definitely course. there. They're full body to us. But yes. with all the disbelief from our environment that it is around us and from people's reactions, mm. we sort of start to disbelieve it ourselves and then push them away as well. Agreed. Completely yes. agreed. Um, for me, it was in the forest and it was elementals and tree spirits. They were my friends and, you know, growing up. But please continue. Yes. And then I found I found that um, when, as I, as I was getting a little bit older, I was trying to stop the certain feelings and sensations that I would feel at certain locations. Ah. I, yeah, I visited a location and then I was standing at a certain spot and, uh, I'll be feeling all these emotions and all these other fears and that in that spot, not realising what had happened, you know. Uh -huh. And when I went and researched it, I actually found out that somebody had passed away on that spot. Oh, so you, so may I just say for the audience, isn't this, is this no, this isn't called psychometry. That's with, a, that's with an object, but it's similar, isn't it? Isn't it similar? It is. It is a little bit similar because it's the location. From the, I've tapped into the energy of the location yes. and picked up what has happened on that actual site. So it's from it's from what's audience. It's from experiences that have happened there before, and Tracy's able to actually tune into that, like she's there. Wow. Yeah, that can be handy, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, it can be. Scary too. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Definitely. When it, when yeah. It, well, as, as you know, Emily, uh, along our spiritual path. As soon as when new experiences are coming up, and if you do not have, if you aren't fortunate enough to have someone there who who knows what you're going through, yeah. or you can communicate what you're going through, it can be a really daunting time. Definitely, yeah, it can be quite scary actually if you don't have people around you. Um, yeah, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at some point, I even questioned my sanity. Yes. Oh, I think we've all been there. <laughs> Um, can I just I'm, ask, so, tr yeah. sorry, Tracy, when you, um, so because I'm just trying to think, when you came to spirituality, it wouldn't have been a time where it was um, quite, because like now it's everywhere, isn't it? It's all over Facebook. Uh, like when I created my page a few years ago, there was no other Indigos on Facebook with a page uh, from what I could see. But now they're everywhere and it's like, wow. But I can imagine for you, there wouldn't have been much around there because things were much quieter. Uh, even yeah. even five years ago, never mind 10 years ago, you know, it's, yeah. The social media has been a blessing, really, for, for a Definitely. lot of people in a lot of careers. Social media has been a blessing. At the same time, I mean, every career and every path, there's going to be some negativities that social media project out there. But yeah. for a lot of us, it's been a blessing, actually, to get the word out and to spread the word. It's It's been a blessing. Yeah. I actually say that as well, guys. Um, Facebook, it's... <laughs> To me, it's like it's like you say, it's a portal. It's it's a platform, not a portal. Mm -hmm. Sorry, a platform for us to do our work, and that is, you know, that's a blessing in itself. But yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, so my lovely, so so from what I remember reading in your bio, um, so as you were saying, sorry, back to your story. So you was younger and you was seeing these beings and and so forth and it, yeah it's definitely scary when you when you don't you know you don't know anyone else going through that or you don't know how to control it especially empathy it can be quite um uh i don't know if the right word to use is is sickening i don't know um i've experienced let's be honest uh almost suicidal when i wasn't aware of how to handle my empathic gifts um which i'm sure you've probably experienced quite a strong times as well where you weren't able to um tune in or tune out and it was quite overpowering and in, in them times when you first started uh, absolutely unfortunately at that time you know as you said social media wasn't there to consult or mm. to look up or google google wasn't that popular yeah. either so and, no, and having no one to confide in to talk about it it's a bit of a bit of a minefield it was going to the to the um new age bookshops that was actually a blessing yes yes definitely um yeah. the, the emotions yeah. you know it's empathic the emotions can be really overwhelming can't they yeah like yeah literally uh like i said for me it almost took me to suicide um a couple of times actually so whew, 
Yeah, it can be, guys. However, sorry to just jump in, Tracy, but Spirit's just asking me to say quickly that, yeah, um, but don't let that scare you, please, if you are new to spirituality and you are empathic. Um, one amazing thing I can advise, and Tracy, you probably advise something similar or, you know, something different that's worked for you. But for me, um, it was learning from my partner that you can tune off on that. Just by asking your high self, can you turn it off, please? Can you turn it on, please? Simple as that, like a little uh, tune in, tune out kind of visualization and intention more than anything. And that has really helped me. Um, that's really helps just calm everything down so I can actually um, choose when to use use my empathy if that makes sense which helps um, guys so Tracy what what could you advise that's helped you over the years um you know because I mean you do you do uh you do um physical mediumship and to us that's poof, you have to um you have to be aware of your protocols you know before you can really delve into that kind of work and and know your guides very well and and things of that nature so for me someone who's only been on my path for three years looking at what you do it's like wow how did it how did it all begin i really want to know how did you know tracy lee's story take off i mean you was explaining about before and about oh it's 11 11 guys sorry <laughs> just to say it's 11 11 um you explained it about before and so forth so how did things progress from there i mean you didn't have anyone around you so how did it progress well as a teenager i would just ask them to go away and yes. i would go away i would just clearly ah. say to them, go away please like go away leave yeah. me alone go away go away and yes. they would they would go away and they would leave me alone but a, as time went on um a friend of mine gifted me a set of tarot cards and i thought oh mm. these are interesting i'll have a look at these and uh, i started doing readings just for uh, family and friends and having a quick look for me every now and then you know but um i started to i put them aside because i was i was interested but i wasn't deeply interested and i just put them aside and i just get along with life you know yeah but but as time got on um as you know and p if people aren't aware of what happens is when you do have spiritual abilities to help other people because we all have some ability of course. of course but when you have when you have spiritual ability to help other people your spirit team like to give you little nudges yeah. <laughs> mm. along the way you know they like to give you little nudges and and they like to test you as well to see what you can do and what you cannot do Mm. so they, those things would happen over the years that i would start to pick up information standing beside somebody like, they ah, had a like what, what kind of information if you don't mind me asking like if you could give an example to the audience what what it was like for you well um like that said if i was looking at sometimes i'll be looking at someone and i'll go oh you're getting headaches ah okay oh, oh you've got a sore shoulder ah you know? So we're talking along the lines of, from what I've read, medical mediumship, that kind of uh, work. Yeah, it's just just a start to happen. I wasn't sure what it was. I'm just going, oh, I've got a pain in the tooth, and I know it's not my tooth, but oh. then I'd walk, I'd walk away from that person. I didn't have that pain anymore. Yeah, so yes, like, oh, I've, I've read about that. Oh. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Um, so, so you started to um, practice with this and uh did you start practicing like did it take a while for you to start practicing or did you start practicing straight away no it, did, it didn't actually it took me still took me many years after that because i kept saying go away i'm not ready leave me alone leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> yeah you had other things to do bye yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and right. that doesn't matter right no. but look you're here you're here now you know and you're doing amazing things to help people and and just by being you and embracing your gifts thank you because it takes a lot for a soul to do that it does in just being on earth makes you a warrior in itself but actually in being on your path and embracing your gifts and you're part of the purpose like wow you know it's amazing it really is um so oh let's i've just remembered we've got an audience <laughs> sorry audience i didn't mean that rudely um just some comments have been coming up hello lovelies hello to tracy i'm sitting in the doctors elizabeth um hi from tara hi and loves from emmy hi guys 
and Hi. Trey says, hello, Tracy. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, so, guys, hello to both Bossy, Bossy, Bossy. I hope I pronounced your name right, guys. But um, if you've got any questions for me or Tracy Lee, please do ask. This is all about mediumship, um, mental and physical mediumship, and um, also... Uh, as we call trance, as it's called in Australia, overshadowing. So um, we're, all, we're here to talk about guides and Tracy's experience all through. So yeah. please don't be shy, guys. <laughs> um, so, okay, my lovely. So you started tuning in, as you say, even after that, like we all do, we all have some resistance. It takes us time. Sometimes we're just not ready. Sometimes we've got other lessons we want to go through. You know, there's many reasons why we take our time to 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 get started took me a long time um due to trauma uh, let's be honest that really knocked me off path actually so yeah not been easy but i hear what you're saying so when what was the next big thing after that that really sort of nudged you towards ah okay i think i'm gonna start this journey a little bit more well i actually said to one of my neighbors i said to one of my neighbors one day how about i try and do a reading on you but I hadn't used my tarot cards for years. I just said, yeah. how about I try and do a reading? How about, do, would you like to come over and bring a photo of somebody that you would like to communicate with? And let's see what we can pick up for you. Oh, yeah. lovely, lovely. Yeah. Well, the lady came over and she came over with a picture and she came over with something else. And uh, we actually sat down and I had never done it before, but ultimately, you know, my soul must have known what I could do because uh, we, it didn't take very long and then I was overshadowed and my voice started to change and I Ooh. started to talk like the lady that was trying to communicate who had uh, throat cancer. Okay. Yes, um, I just Elizabeth's just saying because Elizabeth's also a medium, um, it's nothing more lovely, Tracy, than being able to help others with our gifts. Yeah. Yes. So, wow. So, hello to Moira as well and Elizabeth. Welcome, guys. So, you started to literally take on the voice of the soul that was trying to communicate through you. And this was without any um, uh, preparation. Spirit didn't come to you. Hey, you're going to, you know, you're about to morph or anything. You just, it just happened. Yeah, it just happened. It, it just, I, I was in the, I was in the relaxed state because I trust them. I was just in yeah. a relaxed state, and um, and I didn't do the normal preparation that I would do now. I yeah. was just said to the lady instinctively, "Okay, let's try and do a reading." And then, <laughs> <laughs> so, like for me, I've experienced um, mental mediumship. So I have the soul will come to me. It's either in a photo, like a still photo, or a moving, like in it, like a like a movie in my mind. And I'll either hear them or smell a smell of them that they liked, or they'll just talk to me. You know, however it comes across. But that's mental mediumship. So I was wondering because I've always been really drawn to trance, and as we call trance, and you know, overshadowing and things. Um, but from what I've uh, learned, even on the course I've been studying, it can be quite dangerous, um, overshadowing, is it, and trance work. So, I mean, is there anything that you could say you've experienced that maybe freaked you out just a little bit as you was learning about this, this gift? Um, for trance, no, not re not really, not for not for trance because I okay. I, fully, I fully trust my team and like yes. I had said to them I had had I had said to them you know I trust you just keep me safe and we'll see what happens. So that's and, what you'd basically advise to anyone who was looking to do that kind of work as long as they trust their guide team, they know their guide team, and things of that nature. Yeah, that's the sort of thing you'd advise. If they're, if they're getting ready to do trance, I would ask them to do a lot more preparation than that. I just meant for yeah. the time that when it first happened, I instinctively yeah. didn't uh, fret about it. I didn't have any anxiety. Yeah. I just trusted that everything would be okay. Okay. But, I was just preparing. Yeah, sorry. No, sorry, darling. I, I was just wondering because I'm reading a course at the moment just all about um, physical mediumship. So it just really interests me. Um so, so basically, you had done other preparation previous to that, before that experience. You'd learn other stuff. Not no? Yeah, but only just oh, to, not only, yet. 
No, yeah, they're not yet. No, that was sort of like the catalyst to make me go forward and do more. So, so what happened after that then, if you don't mind me asking? Well, after that, because I, I quite like the feeling of that overshadowing. I quite like it. So after the, that had happened and I knew that reading had finished, yeah. then it was like I opened myself up to receiving so much more. And then yeah. I started to, I started to, my house started to get busier. I started to yeah. see more in the house. I started to trip over pets that weren't there. Ooh, I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was quite a lot happening after that, you know. And then I did think, oh my God, what have I done? What's happened here? Although yeah. I knew I was safe, but I just knew my house went from me noticing little things from my house being a highway, more or less. There was so much yeah. happening. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, I, maybe you can explain this, Tracy. Um, lately, I've been just, well, it's almost like I see um, form. So uh, how do I explain this? Uh, bodies um, that are not here, they're, they're, they're on a different plane, but they they look human still. They look like form, but I see them kind of float in, and it's almost like everywhere I'm going out the corners of my eye lately, I'm seeing these these beings, and I've not experienced that before. Um, I have seen like angels and ETs in, in meditations and things, but this is different. Um, have you experienced anything like that with your sight uh, opening? With, with my sight, I don't normally see beings from 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 other dimensions on this plane yeah. i do see them as you said as you mentioned in a meditation state i, yeah. I have had experience in a meditation state in yeah. here on, on the earth plane i see spirits when they're there as a physical person standing there so yeah they're not they're not opaque or anything they're a full they're a full firm a full yeah. firm person standing there yeah but i still do yeah. see flashes out of the corner of my peripheral vision sometimes yeah or like like light or orbs but yeah it, i mean that's what i mean i am see they are human looking but they're just floating that's the only difference you know it's yeah. not scary or anything um it's just unusual i've never seen that before um and i was asking my high self is this my ego playing tricks with me here is this my mind you know kind of thing or is this actually spirit that i'm seeing here and is this serving sort of thing but yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, but wow, okay. So, so, um, where was your first? Uh, where was your first? You said you do platform as well, right? You do some platform work as well. You've done some platform work. But yeah, I'm still doing platform. You're still but, doing platform. Oh, okay, yeah. my lovely. So how did it progress then from um, from the last thing we spoke about on to that? What what was the next step from there? Well, I did a I did a mental mediumship course after that overshadowing. I thought I have yeah. to learn how to control this because yes. I, the house was so busy and I was getting tired and I was thinking, mm. what's going on here, you know? And then I was guided on the computer to the course and I actually did this course, which helped me a great mm. massive massively i would i would urge everybody out there that is opening up their gifts to to do a course to or to learn how to um, set boundaries and turn yeah. it off and on definitely yeah thank you so much for saying that because there is people in the audience that are opening up to their gifts and you know that's the best advice you could give right now tracy so thank you yeah. um yeah, okay, my darling. So, all right, guys, I'm just going to pop to the bathroom very, very quickly. Um, please bear with me. But it just says here, uh, there's a question from um, a lady in the audience, Tara Amber. And she mm -hmm. says, how do you cleanse yourself from other people's feelings and stuff? So I think this is to do with what we was talking about, the empathy earlier, my lovely. Um, mm -hmm. If you could maybe um, explain a little bit uh, from your perspective how you do that and just after that Elizabeth is saying she would love to experience platform work so all right my guys I'm just going to be very quick I won't be long thank you okay. thank you Tracy uh, what I normally do is to cleanse myself from all the thoughts feelings and emotions that I've picked up from people that have been around me or from a, a location or even from um, an article or an item that I have touched um, I actually do flush my body with white light. So I picture, this is just my method, everybody has their own method, but I actually um, 
visualize a thick column of white light coming down from above to my head flushing all of my body down through my legs to my feet and down deep into the ground and I just ask that anything any thoughts, feeling, emotions, energies, anything that I'm feeling whatsoever that is not mine, I ask that it be taken away. And I actually do that for a few minutes every day. I just make sure that I do that, just to make sure that, that I'm not carrying around anybody else's um, emotions or feelings because that does wear you down. Um, the other thing is that what, I, what happened with me is I had turned around and said to my guides after I finished my mediumship course, I had turned around and said to my guides, okay, can you please make it as clear as possible? Tell me what you want me to do. What do you want me to do? And then what happened is I had, I think I had roughly six people in a matter of two months say to me, have you done platform? So I had instinctively, Emily, I just told them people that I had asked my guides, I had said to them, can you please make it as clear as day what you want yeah. me to do? Yeah. And then about six people in two months had said to me, have you done platform? Oh, and yeah, and definitely, guys, if you hear the same thing more than three times, that's definitely your guidance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So even when I was going to, to um, platform um, training, you know, in that spiritual church and everything else, I can tell you that... I didn't want to get up on there on that platform. <laughs> I don't want all well, those eyes looking at me. Well, what was it like, Tracy? What was platform training like? Because I, I, I've never even heard of that here in the UK. So that's amazing. You guys have courses and stuff for that uh, training and well, stuff. It's great. Well, you have quite a, well, actually, here in Australia, we're quite envious of the facilities that you have over there. Seriously? I mean, <laughs> well, you okay. have the Apple. You've got the Arthur Finlay College. You've got Ab Aberdeen. Oh, I Bradley. live in the. I'm in the countryside suite, so I'm oh. nowhere near any of that. I literally, oh. there is nothing. There's not even a decent circle where I live. So um, oh. I feel like me and my mum are going to be the ones to open one. Um, but we just, we just want to make sure we're we're as good as we can be, so we can help those who come along. You know, obviously there's lots to learn before you actually do your own circle. So, um, but we're we're hoping one day we'll be able to do something like that. Um, so where are we? So you were saying because I remember yesterday. So I just asked you quickly. Um, oh, Tara says thank you by the way, Tracy, to the answer you gave her. Thank you, Tara. Um, so I just quickly um, asked you, I remember what the tra the platform training was like. And um, one other thing we were speaking about yesterday, because this was really interesting to me, how you said that each guide of from your experience uh, works with a different ability or talent or gift. Mm -hmm. Could you expand a little bit more on that, please, my lovely? Yes, well when when I when I'm doing platform or where I'm doing when I'm doing mediumship, I, I was taught I was taught previously to learn to feel the energy of your guide blending to you with you. Mm -hmm. So that because you know your own energy, but then as your guide blends with you, you can feel the difference as mm -hmm. they come in. So I was always taught to learn learn the change in the energy so that you know when they're coming. So yeah. um for, for platform, I know that I have a different guide for that and I know when that guide joins me because the feeling of his energy blending with my energy is a completely different feeling. Ah, uh, okay. So you go by their vibration and the uniqueness of it. Hmm. Yes. So yes. so how did you uh, how do you know what uh, gifts they have just by conversation with them or um, each one would come forward when you was doing a particular thing? Exactly right. What would happen is if I'm if I'm doing uh, if I'm doing mental mediumship, you know, and I ask my guides to be with me to help me with um, I don't know what you say, Emily, because everybody's unique and they have their own little preparation before they do anything. Yeah. But I always ask my guides to be with me to help me to to help me to receive any thought, feelings, emotions, energy, information that I need to receive for this person to help them for the highest good. I like that. Can can I write that down, my done? So you said yeah. feelings. Mm -hmm. Feelings. I'm gonna write it on the screen for everyone, if you don't mind. Because that, that was lovely. Feelings, emotions. Yeah, any thought, feelings, emotions, information. 
Okay. Yeah, that's great. And even, guys. even visions, anything visions. That, that I need to pass on to this person yeah. to help them for their highest good. This person to help. Thank you, Tracy. That's lovely. To help them for their highest good. Is that will flash up on the screen in a minute, guys? Yeah. I'm just finishing right in it. Uh, for Is this what we're doing? We're doing it to help them, aren't we? So uh, that's I asked my guys to give them information to give me that information that's going to help for the highest good okay that's beautiful um sorry guys it doesn't say at the end for the highest good because i couldn't fit any more in but if you put for the highest good at the end that's yeah. brilliant feelings emotions yeah. force it's not exactly how you said it but yeah. wow i'll leave it on there for a moment so people can write it if they want to thank you for that so um wow so uh whew. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, hasn't it? Your journey, pretty, pretty much. Yes. Wow. So, so uh, when you do your platform work, um, is there actually a website? Is is it on Facebook, or do you have an actual website people can go to to find events and things like that? Uh, talk to you about your services and so on. Yes, I do. I'm, I'm, my website is um, it's tracy leecom So it's Sorry, T -R -A. Dot, 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 dot. Yep. Tracy. Sorry, don't Tracy slash. Did you say Tracy dash. slash Lee. dash across? Yeah. yeah, in the middle. Yeah, Tracy dot uh, Tracy slash Lee um, yeah. dot com or dot co uk dot, dot, dot com. com. Okay, we're done. Hopefully, it's right. If it's not, tell me and we can change it. No e. No. Oh, okay. Uh, no e on the Tracy. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Bear with me, please. Um, so it was. Oh dear, I've lost it. www. That's it. <laughs> oh, guys, I speak with so many people. Like you know, it's every day is a different. Uh, you know, different show, and it's woo. Um, www. Tracy with no e That's slash it. lee yep. dot com. Yay! Thank you, myself. Yes. Awesome. Yes, that's right. Okay, so yeah. I'll leave that on there for a bit, guys. If you resonate yeah. with Tracy, you can pop one over. And but there's one dot at the start. <laughs> Not too long. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's all right. Um, Let's see what the what the guide started to do is. I mean, I didn't want to do platform, Emily. I just thought I don't want to do that. I don't want to stand up in front of people and <laughs> and obviously you know connect to a connect to one person in the crowd and share this information out and have all these eyes looking at me yeah i, I don't want to do that but but uh, i can tell you that i it's like i have this out-of-body experience that that i get up i walk i go out there i introduce myself i say what i need to say and i can feel my guides come in on my right because mine come yeah. in on my right some on the left some on the right some behind mine come in on my right I know they're there and I know I'll be fine. That's it. That's it. And your team will always be there for you guys. You know, um, advice, just try and keep open communication with them because, you know, if you can every day because it strengthens and your friendship just becomes more and more conscious and it's beautiful. It grows. It grows. Um, so uh, Tara Amber says, yes, platform is very scary. <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> I would love to do that. Hello, beautiful ladies from Emmy. Hello. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your lovely comments. So um, so when you said that you didn't really want to do the, um, the platform work, um, are you quite naturally a shy person in life then? Or is that just, you know, you just didn't want to do that on stage? Uh, well, um, all of the above. I was a shy yeah. person. <laughs> And empath, and yes. I didn't want to stand up there in front of everybody because I, I'm putting. I'm actually what I'm doing is when I'm standing on platform. This is how I look at it, Emily. That when I'm yeah. standing there on the platform, I'm actually showcasing my relationship with my spirit team. Hmm. Oh, I like that. And from what I learned, your guides are an aspect of you. From what I learned. Mm -hmm. That's right. I don't know if, if you 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 agree with that. Yeah, hmm. they are, but they're there for you for a reason. I mean, you, it's like all every relationship that you have, there's no coincidence. So there's a reason why that you are matched with that team. Yeah, of course. I agree with that. Um, 
I, yeah, I love my guides to bits. Um, I've got a big guide team. There's 10 of them from my Akashic Record reading, but I've only actually met three of them or, yeah, three of the human galactic ones. Um, I've met the animal guides as well, quite a few of the power animals, which was really, really a blessing. Um, I like to do a lot of shamanic journeying uh, with my uh, drum, and that just comes quite naturally, which I really, really enjoy. Um, uh, but I'm just sharing this out still, guys. Um, I'm just sharing it to a few more groups. So we've got about about 25 minutes left, Tracy. So, I mean, is what would you like to talk about? Um, so much well, what, what I've found it? Emily is that um when I'm doing platform because sometimes with me I mean spirit are never wrong spirit are never yeah. wrong the information that they get you is always perfect it's how we perceive it and how we yeah. relate it our delivery can be wrong mm -hmm. so I'm still a novice and I'm sure I'll always be a novice because we're always learning you know yes but exactly yeah. But I know that sometimes on platform, I can't tell you that I'm 100% accurate all the time because I'm not, you know. Sometimes yeah. on platform, I may hear a word slightly different. And you know, that's my interpretation of it that's wrong because spirit aren't wrong, you know. I'm with you. Um, yeah. Um, again, as well, guys, uh, to the audience, things like um, if you, you know, if you've experienced trauma, uh, if you've got beliefs and all this kind of stuff, certain programs, all these things from what I've learned um, do filter you as a channel for healing and they do affect that. Um, and But the more you do your own inner work, your own transformational subconscious work, and the more you, like Tracy said, you know, you know your guide team, you know yourself, the more you're aware of all of that, it just seems to get easier, guys. Um, it does get easier. It really does. Um, and I don't know about you, Tracy, but I find that this comes with dedication, this path. Um, I say this path, like, you know, we're all unique, our paths. Um, but this path of spirituality, I do feel it comes uh, with a commitment and a discipline as well. And I say this in most of my shows because, you know, it's it's how I, I feel about it. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, the more you practice uh, do you find that? Have you practiced with your gifts a lot or are you quite natural with your gifts and they just sort of flow? And... A bit of a bit of all of the above. I've had times where I've really put, I really put work into clairvoyance. Yes. Uh, to opening up my third eye and making my third eye, you know, as strong as I can. I've done the yes. same with um, clear audience. I've done the okay. same with um, clear flexion. Um, yeah, I've done clear sentience. I've tried to work on all of them, but I've given, I've tried to give the skill that has that I'm more deficient in the more work. Yeah. Okay, my lovely. Um, what would you um, what would you advise um for them individual clairs? Is there is there something maybe one or two things you could say to the audience that would um help them experimenting with their gifts? Oh, absolutely. Because what I what I found, what started to do, my my guides pushing me in so many different ways, and I'm just going with what they want me to do. Um, but prior to, prior to moving on, I actually would do exercises every day. Yes. To, to build up these senses, I would Beautiful. do my I would flush my body. I would do my grounding. I would ask for uh, sometimes protection around the room, especially if I'm in the early stages when you're first learning and you're opening up. I would yes. ask. For and I would do exercises every day. Every day I would do exercises on all the clairs. Just, just to what, uh, what kind of exercise? Like for me, guys, I practice every day with my cards because I, I do professional oracle card reading, but it's also something I love to practice with. And I'll practice every single day um, using them and tapping into like uh, medium mystic messages and things to, to share to the whoever I'm practicing with and, and my private group and stuff. Because I go live with them every day as well, um, Monday to Friday. Just to practice, because I love to practice, Tracy. You know, it's yeah, uh, like you're saying, it's it's really beneficial. Um, it really does show the universe that wow, 
I'm serious about my gifts. I, I appreciate them. I honor them and I want to expand them. You know, it's, um, and we all have them, guys. I'm not special. No one is special. We're all special, really. But <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. Um, yeah. We all have amazing gifts. We all have amazing abilities. And we all have a piece of the puzzle um, to put to the world, you know, guys. So oh, never put yourself down. That's all I'm trying to say. Please always raise yourselves up because you are magical. You truly are magical souls. Um, claim it. It's not. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what, Emily? Sorry to interrupt, but you know what no, I just want to say there is that um, you're absolutely right. I mean, just we all have some kind of intuitive psychic ability. We all have it. It's just what we Definitely. choose to do with it. You know, everybody yeah. has everybody has weaknesses. But when it comes to uh, when it comes to businessmen, when it comes to investors, when it comes to entrepreneurs. They all use yes. their intuition. They tap into it to help them to make decisions. Yeah. So you don't have to be a psychic and you don't have to be a medium to grow them to the full potential and take full advantage of them. They're there to help you. Yeah, I, I agree. And I'm, it's actually quite surprising because I've actually noticed recently, Tracy, I don't own a television, so I don't really see much me modern media or things like that. I don't really listen to music like that or anything. But um, I recently realised just how many people that are quite famous who actually use crystals and, and have readings regular and do yoga and do this and do that and the amount of millionaires that literally practice the law of attraction and positive mindset and all of that is unreal like wow you know um so that it really works guys you know this journey is very magical and it truly 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 uh just just blows you away in a beautiful way right <laughs> So well, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of authors yeah. out there that have channeled books. Yes. Funny you say that. I'm writing my first book, actually, Tracy. So um, it's coming along slowly. <laughs> Cancel, clear, delete. But, yeah, um, again, uh, just something that Spirit asked me to do was to whew, not only – Get, it, get my past out in that sense and you know to leave it behind um the old cycle but also um those things that are going to be channeled or at least this is what i was told when i spoke to Seraphis bay about it which was quite some time ago actually now um it came through like a message when i was in the garden but um yeah uh it's happening. Actually, I've got to, I've got to put more time into it. To be fair, I haven't really put enough time into it, and yeah, my time's been going to others. So I suppose it's time I um get that sorted out because that's not the first time I've heard that now. So thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Um, I hear you, spirit. I hear you loud and clear. Okay, that confirms it. I was going to start taking a day to do my book, so that confirms it. Awesome. <laughs> so, Tracy, thank you for that little message there. Um, see how natural it just happens, guys. It's just like, you know, she feels it, she hears it, it just comes out. And that's what it's like, right? It's uh... So, for those who've never, ever... Uh, experience seeing a spirit or hearing a spirit or even connecting into i mean it's an honor i feel it's an honor to be able to pass on uh, a message of love or of uh, security or of, it's such a healing thing to do isn't it um when you're able to help uh, families or, or people individuals with that yeah. gift um has that ever really like brought you to tears or, or serious like overwhelmed uh, gratitude and, and just beautiful feelings? Yeah, absolutely. Because I, and I do say this, that the readings provide um, clarification, confirmation and healing. Oh, that's lovely that is. Oh, I'm going to write that down as well, guys. Clarification, confirmation. So this is what you'll get with Tracy and... Healing. That is beautiful. I've beautiful. been brought to tears. I've been brought to tears many a time, and you know, uh, but one of the times that I was brought to tears is I was on platform, and then I had a I had a little girl come through who was eight who oh. had died of cancer, and she wanted to, to talk to her mother. And oh. the the emotion that was attached to that was very overpowering. It was very yes. Overpowering. 
I, uh, I I haven't experienced children uh, children in that sense, um, but I did experience a wife, a lady who passed, and she gave a symbol um, to her. No, sorry, it was the husband that had transition, and he brought a symbol through. And I'd only just sort of started experiencing this because my mum's actually the medium, so for me, it's you know, it's all quite new, really. Um, and he showed me roses. So I said to her, there's a connection to roses here. Oh, he would bring them to me every time we had a special date or, you know, it was a constant thing for, for them to do. So just that, I find that spirit talks in symbols um, as well as hearing and so forth and smells. And Have you experienced that as well? You've had symbols and... Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of, because now spirit have... have Push me towards now doing psychic development and mediumship workshops. So oh, I'm wow, doing, really? Yeah, I'm doing those as well now. And I wow. do I do actually say to people, um, build up your symbols. Build up your diary of symbols. Because Thank for me, you. whether it's psychic or whether it's mediumship, um, I've got symbols and there's always symbols there. I don't want to cry. Whew, that, sorry, you just touched me there for some reason. I don't know why, but so a good way to do that, I would say to people, is what I normally do is I uh, get a book. When I first started, I would get a book and write down my symbol <laughs> and the feeling or the emotion or whatever that is attached to that, and then I would just uh, that, like, yeah, the repertoire of symbols and you just build them all up. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm, uh, not with the symbols Tracy that's a great idea thanks again for that but I have been doing that with different things like throughout my life like um you know experiences and lately because spirits asked me to channel my book they've lately when important things have happened they've said to me write that down write that down write that down a part of my healing experiences and so forth um because my book is actually called healing the indigo um that's what we've named it and that's the name spirit's given me so it's um yeah wow again thanks for that that's another key point oh guys i'm gonna write that down actually because i think i like that so um create a book of symbols another mm. key piece of advice from tracy so create a book of we'll call them spirit symbols guys yeah, um, yeah. for me, it was quite freaky, actually, Tracy. The first um, experience I had, because me and my mum had been asked to go to a spa. Um, it had been paid for us, so there was, like, uh, we had two treatments. We slept there overnight. We had a meal. It was wonderful. But the spa was heavily, heavily, uh, there was a lot of souls there, a lot of souls there. And some of two of the rooms were really quite, haunted as they say and we was put in one of them uh we was asked to basically just you know like everyone just do some clearing work really more than anything else um i was meditating in the jacuzzi so we'd had a lovely day and you know we're just resting been swimming and next thing i know guys this soul shows himself to me so a, a male soul i'm just gonna ask him if he minds if i talk about him because, you know, guys, sometimes it's, it can be quite traumatic. Okay. So my first symbol, Tracy, was this soul showing me, thank you, literally um, a head being sledgehammered. Um, mm. and that was, you know, quite gory, as you can imagine. And I thought, uh, what on earth does this mean? So when we got to the desk after, after asking does he need to be crossed over and so forth and so forth after we went to desk i said to him what happened there was a, a man here uh you know a death or something blah 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 oh yeah there was a gentleman a middle-aged gentleman had a heart attack fell hit his head on the jacuzzi and died mm -hmm. from head trauma so he was showing me head trauma um but i'd never experienced that before that was the first symbol i'd ever received so it was a bit oh what does that mean you know but i figured it out as soon as they said to me that i was like ah thank you so that was when i learned that spirit can also speak in symbols um 
do you mind telling the audience what your first symbols were, if you remember your first symbols or, or some of the most rememberable symbols that, that you've been given? Um, yeah. And just to let you know, we've got about 11 minutes left. Uh, and a quick audience, if you have any questions before we go, um, please do put them on screen. We've got 10 minutes left now. And I'm going to put the screen on you for a little bit, my lovely. So, um, yeah, just, just give us a little bit more about uh, what you've experienced symbol wise would be fab and any advice you have as well thank you uh, i get symbols in in many different ways when i when i first started make and make uh, making my repertoire of symbols building that up i would ask them for a symbol of money and my symbol of money if i'm doing a reading with someone is a frog so okay. i see a frog in my mind's eye i see a frog or i see a frog wow. in the room and that means mm. that the money's coming to that person and I usually, depending on the size of the frog, usually is the amount yeah. of money that that person is going to receive. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I started to do as well is not just getting pitch, uh, visual pictures is I practice with my guides. So if you want to practice yes. with your guides, I ask you to flush your body, um, to ground yourself, to ask you know your, your team to be around you to help you. But I, because mm -hmm. I'm empathic, I ask them, to let me feel what a heart attack felt like. Right. Not a full-blown heart attack, just give me, like, let me feel like um, trauma in the chest and Oof, I'll get, yeah. a, get a feeling yeah. there, yeah. Or yeah. Let me, yeah. Yeah. Or let me, feel a, let me feel head problems and I get pains in the head. You know, let, let me feel lung problems and I would feel the laboured breathing, mm. you know. So I would build up my repertoire of empathic symbols as well. So um, just so that I could build it all up so that I knew that every time I received any type of information, whether I'm having a private reading, a platform reading, um, doing a workshop, whatever I'm doing, that I learnt how to interpret that and pass it on. Um, okay, my lovely. Oh, okay. So I've not actually heard of that or thought of that rather, empathic symbols. So mm -hmm. so you feel, you feel it, so... Yeah, I feel it. So even when I'm up on platform sometimes, uh, that's another thing I was going to say to you, Emily. Sometimes when I'm up on platform, the spirit might give me some information and if I don't quite hear it properly, I might say to them instinctively in my mind, come closer, come closer. Yes. And then I found you. that that's right. And But then what I found, Emily, that they would come so close, they would overshadow me on platform. Ah. And so I'm standing there on platform and um, my my mannerisms change. So my mannerisms okay. change and I'll take on that. If they had a hunchback, I was standing there with a hunchback. Oh. If they, if they have lung, can't, lung uh, like asthma or lung problems, I will start to do the heavy breathing, mm. you know? Hip problem, yes. I walk with the hip problem, you know, I'll start to do all that with them. But I ask them to come closer and they, they do come closer and they give me all the information that I need to pass on. Oh, wow. So, um, oh gosh, that must be, a, must be quite, uh, I can't imagine it, sweet, to be honest. To, you know, I know I've seen spirit, but to actually feel them working through you, like, I mean, I say that, but then I've had experiences, um, maybe kind of similar um where i've literally for a moment i feel like i've lost consciousness i'm not there for a moment and you watch me back because i happen to be live when it was happening yeah. and next thing you know like my eyes like i said to you they're going in the back of my head and i'm sort of like ooh, all over the place and i'm obviously not in control um yeah and i was saying to my partner well what, what's going on here because you know I've never experienced this before so what so I find quite naturally as I'm uh, say I'm doing drumming or I'm meditating or I'm doing a healing or a clearing or something with somebody uh, quite naturally I'll either start channeling or I'll I don't know what it is sweet I don't know what it is to be honest it that's sounds why very it sounds very similar to what I, was, I mean. Obviously, I don't know because I'm not in your shoes. But it sounds very similar to the overshadowing experience that I had. When I ask them to come closer, they come really close, and yeah. for some reason, it's usually some part of my body 
shakes. Usually my yeah. hands, my hand might shake or my arm might shake and mm -hmm. then they step in and then my I lose a space of time. I lose a small space of time, a minute yeah. or 30 seconds or something like that. See, my partner was saying to me, you know, don't do this, don't do this because it's not safe. But I'm saying to him, hang on, sweetheart, if it's already happening, surely you'd rather me like have procedures and, and you know, be, be safe rather than tell me not to do it in the first place. Um, obviously, it's my path anyway. So, I, you know, I'm still interested in it. And if it's happening naturally, surely people are better off being safe than they are not knowing what they're, you know, what's going on. Um, where do you say about these uh, mediumship courses you're doing? That sounds really interesting as well. Um, are you actually doing them virtual or are they where you live and only where you live? They're, they're where I live at the moment, but I am moving towards being virtual as well because what Spirit have also told me now is that when I'm in the workshop environment and I look at a person, um, Spirit tell me what they can do. So I look at them and go, oh, you see. I know yeah. that you see. It's my third eye is pulsing. You actually yeah. see. Yeah, I remember when we um, met and you said that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because that's what they give me. So I don't even mm. ask for it, and they're giving me that. So, like, of yeah, with, when I looked at you, my third eye was pulsing. So I know that you see. Uh, well, it, sometimes I look at other ladies and I go, "Oh, you get smells." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, chips, roses, all kinds of smells. <laughs> it really depends on the spirit, right? But um. Yeah. Yeah, um, actually, sweet, I'm glad you said that because I was asked to give you that about the virtual um, courses and workshops and, and mediumship events and things, you know, um, however it comes across, however it comes through. Um, and please let me know when you do because I'll definitely be interested in that, 100,000%. Uh, um, so, yeah, that'd be great. And I'm sure the audience members would also be interested in things like that as well. Um, so, guys, uh, let's just see. Ah, Moira's was saying that I go like that when I when I do light language. So I do light language as well. Um, and sometimes she sees because Moira's in my private group, she sees me go into that whatever that is, that state is. Um, thanks for saying that, Moira. That's a good point, actually. Um, so Shaki says, would love a reading, please, and thank you. Who are you asking that to, please, my darling? Because we are both readers here, so I'm not sure. Um I'm not sure who you're talking to there, but if you could let us know, please. Um, who else we've got? Praise is beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Okay, guys, we've literally got three minutes left, okay. roughly. Yeah, about three minutes left. Um, I so can I just us... touch on one more thing, Emily? Is yeah. that we, um, there, there seems to be two different things that happen. Like when we get that overshadowing that happens and you know, because my eyes do that as well where they go back a bit and I lose a space yeah. of time. But there's, yeah. there's that, uh, like, uh, as far as I know, that that's overshadowing. But when it comes to trance, you may find there's a lot of people out there that lose spaces of time, like large spaces of time. Like they, okay. I've driven in the past, I've dri got in my car and I've driven from one location to another location, got out of my car and yeah. not known how I got there or how I've been there. Oh wow! Woo. That's, <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, that's, that's trance. That's them showing you that they can work through you. So that's something that's completely different. That's going into the physical. Yeah. Um, so all I all I remember. Um, sorry, that lady from the audience just replied. Sorry, guys, bear with me. Um, Shaki, my lovely. If you're looking for a reading with Tracy, I think you just have to go onto our website that we put on the screen earlier. Um, Tracy, uh, www.tracy slash Lee. Uh, sorry, the, not slash, it's hyphen, isn't it? In the middle, um, dot yeah. com. Or if you're looking for a reading with me, sweet, my page is up on the screen on Facebook where you can find reviews and, and chat to me on there. Um, but yeah, we're both available. So cool. Um, so yeah. Um, just back to that again so all i remember was like i said i was doing like light language and bringing all that stuff through and then i just yeah i just remember like like that eyes in the back of my head chatting away i don't even know what i'm saying next thing i know i'm coming back round, and it's like I've, I've been uh you know when you've had surgery and you're given anesthetic and you're all hazy 
and you're sort of uh, you don't know what's happened it's very hazy and you just feel out of body until you reground and da 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 so uh, i think you know. that's not overshadowing emily i think you better look into that i think you're actually starting to trance hmm that's what i was feeling you know i was actually mm. saying that and but then someone said to me well no because trance is uh you know what you're doing when you're in trance so it's quite confusing um sometimes it's yeah. terminology too so you have to look at terminology so True. here in australia when when you ask spirits to come close and they come close and you take over the mannerisms and things like that like it's called yeah. overshadowing here but yeah. when when you actually trance as you just described yeah. and lost that space of time and you come back and you're still a bit hazy and yeah. whatever i would ask you not to make yourself come back too quickly no of course of course yeah Do slowly around yeah, yeah water and yeah that sounds like trance to me i actually feel who you saying that that more resonates much more because I don't take on the mannerisms, any mannerisms as such. I mean, when I watched myself back, I don't remember, but when I watched myself back, I was I wasn't there. I was just I was gone, you know. But it wasn't like spirit uh, communicating like that as such. It was more guidance. Um, it was definitely of a high love vibration because I could feel watching it back. I could feel the energy coming through it, the vibration coming through it. So I trusted it like I do always with my guidance that comes through. Um, you know, like you were saying, you trust your guys, you trust yourself. So um, yeah. Oh, my lovely, we're one minute past the hour. Um, but thank you so much, Tracy Lee, for coming on yeah, Starlight Wisdom you. Show um it's been an honor and a blessing thank you for being here and sharing with the audience uh your experience and what you've learned and you know i mean we could talk for hours and hours and hours because it just it's so it's so in depth isn't it you know it's um we've barely scratched the surface really when it comes to spirit and what the spirit world is and and what it can do but guys you'd need all day for that like seriously <laughs> oh, absolutely yeah. Even, even now we're getting um, trans configuration and we're getting EVP and yeah. we're getting quite a lot of things. I mean, as you said, you know, there's so many different levels to mediumship. Oh, wow, yes. Um, I mean, just to, to ascension alone, I mean, it's, whew, never mind your gifts uh, coming to the forefront. And I found as well that the more you release trauma, the more your gifts change. Uh, they, they, Yeah, they change, guys, they change. So enjoy the journey and don't forget to enjoy the journey because the journey's just as good as the destination sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Right. And don't, yeah. I mean, even me, I'm still a novice. I always say I'm still a novice because I'm always learning. Learning, me too and always will be sweet always always will be and humble and hopefully about it as well um you know um i always call myself a student and i find the more you're a student you never stop learning so that's great that's great anyway i would love to say thank you so much to my audience and our audience sorry um people i've not met before so you probably came through over or came because of tracy and so forth so thank you guys for for being here thank you so much for sharing your vibration your questions your everything about your essence i'm truly grateful please do check starlight wisdom on youtube that is the channel where there's lots of interviews with other lovely souls there's uh, new ones every week guys i will be uploading mine and tracy's interview literally now after i finish here um so that will be on youtube and accessible for months and months and months and months to come again it's starlight wisdom the same name as the show subscribe for free and guys if you could please leave a love donation Nation, I'm going to leave the PayPal link under the show. Um, Tracy, if you want to leave your links as well, my lovely, again, under the show, um, under the live, so everyone can then once again connect to you if they resonate and so forth. That would be great. Um, and we'll leave it there, guys. Um, again, it's not necessary to leave that donation, guys, but if you can, we're always humbled and grateful. So thank you to all of you who already have as well. I'd just like to say that. And uh, we will continue going on with the show as long as you lovely guys are here to watch. And there's beautiful souls like Tracy Lee to share their journey. So thank you once again, Tracy, and to all your guide team as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation, Emily. Um, anytime. It's, it's been a pleasure. And perhaps we could have you on again in the future. Yes, it'd be lovely.
all right my lovely thanks again guys so remember to reach us on our website lots and lots of love and yeah what else can we say um may spirit bless you all and may god bless you all bye everyone Bye. -bye. thank you bye tracy bye bye, -bye everyone blessings Bye. -bye.